Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to verify customer email on WooCommerce order. So when you receive an order on WooCommerce, so the email that is entered by the customer might not be correct and you verify it and if it turns out to be wrong, then you send an SMS to the customer to update the correct email address. So in this video, we will integrate these two applications in such a way that the order will be created in WooCommerce that will be the trigger and our action will be to send SMS in Twilio. So we are going to create this integration with the help of Pabli Connect. Let us learn how to do that. So in this video, we are going to learn how are you going to send a notification to the customer who has just placed an order on your WooCommerce and then the email address is invalid that shows it to you. So you are going to send a message using Twilio to that customer to update the perfectly right email address. So let us quickly sign in into our account so that we will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli and we are going to use Pabli Connect to create the automation. Click on access now. That will take you to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here, you can see a big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as send notification SMS to customer to update invalid email. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you can see on your screen. So like you will be able to see the two major modules of Pabli Connect on which the whole workflow runs, trigger and action. Now, before we understand the functioning of trigger action and this workflow, I would like to remind you to open your WooCommerce account first of all, then an application called Never Bounce, which validates or checks the email address if it works or it's invalid or not. And then Twilio, which we are going to use to send SMS. We are going to open all of these applications to make sure perfect connection to established with Pabli Connect and also to cross check any changes that you're going to make in this workflow. Now, let us understand what is the purpose of trigger and action. Trigger says when this happens and action says do this, which means that trigger is going to be the first application, which will actually trigger the whole workflow and the event over here will take place manually, which means we are going to perform that event, which will trigger the workflow and the further action steps will perform the assigned actions according to that. Now the trigger over here is going to be WooCommerce because first of all, an order will be created in your WooCommerce through which you can get the complete details of the orders and also the email address of the registered customer. So the event over here will be new order created and then Pabli Connect will provide you this webhook URL which will be helpful in fetching the information of the newly created order to over here in this workflow as a webhook response. These are the instructions given to you to follow in order to connect this webhook URL with WooCommerce. So let us learn how to do that. This is my WooCommerce. First of all, go to settings from the left panel. You will find advanced in your menu. Click on advanced. And then over here, scroll down and you will find webhooks. Click on webhooks. And then you will find the list of all the webhooks you might have created already. What we are going to do is click on this button, add webhook, and you will find a form that you will be filling in order to connect the webhook URL. First of all, give a name to your webhook, order created one one, activate the status. The topic will be order created. The delivery URL is going to be this URL, copy it from here. And you will notice that as soon as you copy it from here, it will start waiting for a webhook response. Coming back here, paste your delivery URL and click on save webhook. Now you will see that it will be added to the list of all the webhooks you were having right now. This is what we just added. Since it is waiting for a webhook response, you, you will see that it receives a webhook ID, which is this, and it is a confirmation of the integration done successfully. Now we will click on recapture webhook response and now we will have to purchase a sample purchase over here. Okay, so coming back over here to WooCommerce, go to products, all products over here, and then choose a product and purchase it. Let us say I'm going to buy this watch. Click on view. And here I will add this to cart. Proceed to checkout. And here is the name of the person, the company name, the address and all. And I will see that this is the email address entered. Now this doesn't look like a perfect email address and I have made it invalid in order to create the workflow. Now this is the email address that I will be using, which will be proved invalid in the workflow itself. And we will see how it is going to happen. So I will place an order and it is done. So the order is placed now. We will go back to our page. And we will see that we will receive a response right here about the newly created order of the watch along with all the details related to the person, the address, the amount and also the email address will be provided to you in the response. 
and you can see that we have received a response over here. When you scroll down, you will find all the details related to the watch that we just purchased. First of all, the price, then the details related to the shipping. See the name of the person is here, the address of the person is here. And then when you come down, then you will find the email address as well. And this is the email address. Okay, so now we have the details over here. Now we want to make sure that the email address provided to us by the customer is correct or not. So in the next step only, we are going to provide this application called Never Bounce. Now this application is used to validate the email. See, verify email address, click on connect, add new connection, and then you will be needing an API key. So for this API key, as I mentioned, go to your account. Here you will find apps. Either you can create a new app over here or I'm going to use Pabli Connect itself. Now this is my API key. I will copy this from here and come over here to paste it. Click on save and my connection will be done like this. Now you have to map the email address to verify. So we are not going to enter the email address manually because then it is not going to change in the case of any other order. Even if the order is received, it will, ver it will be verifying the same email address again and again. So here we will map the email address that will be newly arrived. So I'm going to put it this one. Okay, so this is the email address. Click on save and send test request and see the response. And when you see the response, the status is success, which means that the work has been done and the result is invalid, which means that this application never bounce says that this email address is invalid. There is no such email address that exists. Okay, so we are going to use this information to put a filter over here that whenever this order is received over here, we receive a response in our trigger application and the never bounce application says that the email address is invalid, then continue only if it is invalid. So we will put a filter over here and here the never bounce will be okay. The result is invalid. It should not be equal to valid. Okay. Why? Because it can be unknown. It can be error. It can be anything, but it should not be valid. If it is valid, then this filter will make sure that the workflow does not run ahead because the workflow is specifically being made in the situation when the email address is invalid and we are going to send an SMS to the person to update the correct email address. Okay, so we are providing the filter that the result over here should not be equal to valid in any given case. Click on save and send test request and it's success. The condition is true. It's not equal to valid. So close this filter and now we will put our last step that is our SMS. Okay, so we are going to use Twilio over here. This is my Twilio. And the event will be send SMS. Now we are going to send SMS using Twilio to the customer. So we have over here in our WooCommerce all the details related to the customer, the name, the number of the person and everything. Okay, and also the order ID. So we are going to mention all of that in our message. Click on connect, add new connection, and then you will need the SID authorization token. Both of these things. Do not worry. I made you open your accounts over here. Scroll down from your landing page and you will find the SID and authorization token both. Copy this SID and paste it in the two given places. And then the authorization token. So copy it from here and paste it here. Click on save and see it is done. Now you will be asked to enter the body of the SMS, the sender's number and the recipient number. Now recipient number is very important because that is the destination of the message. Body is also important because that is the message you want to convey. And the sender's number you will be receiving from here so that you need not use your personal number over here. Come back to your workflow and paste it from your Twilio account only. So whenever the customer will find that they have received an SMS, so they will see this number, not your own personal number. Now let us frame the body of the SMS. So I'm going to type it like this. Hello. And I will map the name of the person. Okay. This is the name. Complete name actually. We have received your order for. What is the order for? So the name over here. Order number. So I'm going to type over here. Order number is this. And then I will proceed with the main message. So I have written the message like the email provided by you is incorrect please update the correct address on this email address i have given over here else your order will be cancelled regards now this is the sms that i have prepared and the recipient number i will write over here so this is the phone number from the customer given to us so let us click on save and send test request and we have received the response over here send from your twilio account this is our message 
So let us check our sample SMS. Have we received it or not? So this is the message that we have received sent from your Twilio trial account, which is exactly what we saw in the response. Hello, dummy user. We have received the order for watch and this is the order number and the email provided by you is incorrect. So please update on this specific given email address. Regards and then see that we were able to send the message to our customer to update the correct email address. So this is the whole workflow. First you receive an order, the email gets checked. If it is invalid, then the message will be sent. Otherwise this filter won't allow it to proceed. And if it's the correct email address, then no action will be taken. So this was the whole workflow. I hope this helped. Not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.